A federal indictment against Sean Diddy Combs, unsealed on September 17, 2024, reveals disturbing allegations of criminal behavior spanning over a decade. The music mogul faces a barrage of charges, including racketeering conspiracy, sex trafficking by force, fraud or coercion, and transportation for the purpose of prostitution. These serious accusations come after months of mounting legal troubles, including lawsuits alleging sexual misconduct filed by multiple accusers in late 2023, which Diddy vehemently denied at the time. The indictment paints a shocking picture of Combs' alleged activities, revealing a pattern of exploitation, abuse, and coercion, often involving elaborate sex parties known as freak-offs. These events allegedly involved female victims who were forced or coerced into performing sex acts with male sex workers. The indictment claims that Combs arranged, directed, and filmed these acts, often recording them without the victim's knowledge or consent. The events reportedly took place regularly over multiple days, with Combs using threats of violence and control to keep the victims compliant. According to the federal documents, authorities executed search warrants at Diddy's Miami and Los Angeles residences in March 2024 leading to the seizure of various items including narcotics and over 1,000 bottles of baby oil and lubricant items allegedly used during the freak-offs. Victims were reportedly drugged with a variety of substances to make them more obedient, and both the victims and Combs himself frequently received IV fluids to recover from the grueling sexual events and drug use. The indictment details how Combs allegedly maintained control over his victims through a variety of abusive tactics. This included physical, emotional, and verbal abuse, alongside promises of career advancement or financial support, which were then threatened to be withdrawn to exert further influence. Diddy is accused of monitoring his victims' every move, tracking their locations, dictating their appearance, and controlling aspects of their lives, including their housing and medical records. The injuries suffered by the victims, the documents say, often took weeks to heal. The investigation into Combs and his associates, described as the Combs enterprise spans several years and involves numerous witnesses, some of whom claim to have seen these abuses firsthand. The indictment accuses Combs and his inner circle of engaging in acts of violence, including kidnapping and arson, to silence or intimidate potential witnesses who could damage his reputation or expose his criminal activities. One particularly alarming element of the indictment involves the systematic nature of the freak-offs. Combs associates ranging from his security team to household staff and assistants, are accused of facilitating these events by booking hotels, preparing the necessary supplies, and ensuring the venues were clean and secure. They were also responsible for arranging travel for sex workers, providing cash for payments, and overseeing the IV fluids combs and the victims received. These organized actions reflect what prosecutors argue is a well-established criminal enterprise. On September 16, 2024, Combs was arrested in New York City following the unsealing of the indictment. His attorney, Mark Agnifilo, quickly made a statement to the press, asserting that Combs would plead not guilty to the charges. Agnifilo emphasized that his client is innocent and will vigorously fight the charges in court. He noted that Combs had voluntarily relocated to New York in anticipation of the indictment and cooperated with law enforcement throughout the investigation. However, Combs' legal team has described the charges as part of an unjust prosecution, with Agnifilo stating, please reserve your judgment until you have all the facts. Earlier in the year, in March 2024, law enforcement agencies executed coordinated search warrants at Combs' homes in Los Angeles and Miami. According to multiple sources, these raids were conducted with the involvement of Homeland Security Investigations, HSI agents, and local law enforcement partners. The raids resulted in the seizure of several items, including narcotics and electronic devices. Authorities also reportedly interviewed several individuals during the searches, including sex workers and others with knowledge of the alleged sex trafficking operation. One of Combs' associates, Brendan Paul, was arrested in Miami on the same day the warrants were executed, facing charges of drug possession. Law enforcement sources confirmed that Paul was found with cocaine and marijuana-infused candy. He later accepted a plea deal, allowing him to enter a diversion program, after which his charges were dismissed. Combs' legal troubles began in late 2023 when he was hit with a series of civil lawsuits accusing him of sexual misconduct and abuse. He staunchly denied these allegations, labeling them as sickening and accusing the plaintiffs of seeking a quick payday. In a statement released on Instagram in December 2023, Combs wrote, I did not do any of the awful things being alleged. I will fight for my name, my family, and for the truth at the time, no criminal charges had been filed against him, and his legal team portrayed the lawsuits as meritless. However, the situation escalated dramatically in early 2024 as the federal investigation deepened. 
Following the execution of the search warrants, Combs lawyer Aaron Dyer criticized the authorities for what he described as an overuse of military-level force during the raids. He noted that Combs was never detained during the searches and cooperated fully with investigators. Nonetheless, the sheer scale of the operation, combined with media attention, led to widespread speculation about the nature of the investigation. While Diddy's legal team has continued to deny all allegations of wrongdoing, the unsealed indictment has brought a new level of scrutiny to his conduct. The charges of racketeering, sex trafficking, and the organized nature of the alleged crimes paint a damning picture of a man who, prosecutors claim, abused his wealth and influence to create a criminal empire centered on exploitation and abuse. The court proceedings, which began on September 17th, are expected to be highly contentious, with Combs' attorneys vowing to mount an aggressive defense. They argue that the charges are based on false allegations and that the U.S. Attorney's Office is engaging in an unjust prosecution of their client. Combs' attorney, Mark Agnifilo, has described him as an imperfect person but insists that he is not a criminal. The federal indictment is extensive, detailing numerous criminal acts allegedly committed by Combs and his associates. Prosecutors have outlined a wide-ranging conspiracy involving sex trafficking, forced labor kidnapping and obstruction of justice, among other crimes. The case is expected to draw significant media attention given Combs' status as one of the most prominent figures in the entertainment industry. Despite the serious nature of the charges, Diddy's legal team has expressed confidence that he will be exonerated. In the meantime, the case against him continues to unfold, with more details expected to emerge in the coming weeks and months. Combs' next court appearance will likely set the stage for what promises to be a highly publicized trial, one that could have far-reaching implications for his career and personal life. As the legal battle begins, both sides are preparing for a long and difficult fight. Combs has consistently maintained his innocence, calling the charges baseless and pledging to clear his name. However, the federal indictment suggests that prosecutors have built a substantial case against the music mogul, one that could lead to a landmark trial. The future of Combs' legacy now hangs in the balance as he faces the most serious legal challenge of his life.